Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to see patch and delete methods of REST API and how to implement in web methods. So let's begin with the patch. So patch method is used to update an existing resource with a partial representation of the changes to be made. This means that instead of sending the entire resource representation, we can only send the part that we need to update. And it is useful when we want to make a small changes to the resource without having to send the entire representation of the resource. So let's understand this. Go to your designer. And we will be using our previously created update employee adapter service. So first we have to create a flow service which updates the record. It's an update employee. Now here we can see that it is expecting employee ID and employee email. So we will create input and output accordingly. Email and result. Now here employee ID is an integer and our input is a string. So we have to convert it into the number. We will use two number service map id with num and here convert as integer and we'll map num as well num with num and we will make our num as here we will select integer Save it. Now we will map our num with id and email with email. And for output, we'll map result with result. Now let's see whether this is working fine or not. First, we'll, we will update Vivek record. Let's see. So we make record with test one, two, three. So here we can see that result we are getting one, and let's check in our database. So here we can see that the record is updated. Now we have to create a patch service which does this job for us so to do so go to your employee resource click on add and put rest url let's say update email select service that is update employee and we'll select method as patch click ok now save this now we will test patch method from service url so we will create a url first so sorry it is created so we will select this go to postman go to postman put a url here select as patch authorization give authorization as basic put body as json now we will change the email address of akash so whose id is one sorry whose id is 11 so we'll change this from akash 007 we'll send here you can see status is 200 okay but why null is coming okay so first let's check in our database So here you can see that it's successfully executed. But let's check why null is there. The maybe this is integer and this is a string. So we will simply change it to the string. So go to your update employee adapter service. Go to result. And here we'll select as a string. 
we'll save this now we'll try so here you can see that now result one is coming so this way we can implement patch service in web method now we will understand what is delete operation so delete operation is mostly used to delete the existing resource which is uh, quite simple so let's quickly create the delete adapter service first delete employee we'll select the table name so our table name is employee now go to the where condition so here we have to give as an employee id all right and here we can change it to employee id input type is integer in delete we have to do nothing in result we can say result as again string save and now let's try this now we will delete vivek record from our database so here we get the successful result and the record get deleted from the table now the same way we have to create a service which deletes the employee So let's delete employee. We will use our delete employee service. And here input and output would be only one input ID and output would be result now we have to convert a string into the integer so for that we will use our two number service app id to number convert as integer map num to num and we'll select a num as integer and then we'll map num to employee id and we'll map result to result hmm. now We'll go to employee resource, click on add and give rest URL as delete employee. Select service name as delete employee. And we'll select method as delete. Save this. Now we'll test this. Now we'll test delete. Now we'll test. Now we will test delete URL from Postman. So let's first create it. Delete employee. No, sorry, delete employee. Now we will pass ID in a URL and let's see. So we'll try to delete 10th record from the table. Select here as delete. 
let this as basic auth update and we'll see whether 10th record is there or not so yes young okay now let's now here you can see that we are getting the proper result and let's see in our database whether 10th number record is gone or not so here we can see that 10th employee young has been deleted from our table so this way we can implement delete and patch rest api in web methods so if you have any doubt or comment then do please let me know in the comment section and if you like the video then please do like share and subscribe thank you